Hello YouTube and welcome to our 60D tutorial and so sorry it's been so late visit the vlog if you want to know why it's been so late but basically in the next couple of tutorials we've got to try and make the game non copyrightish so if your game's fine and you're not going to copyright it just skip ahead a couple of tutorials um, or just watch along but basically what we're going to do in today's tutorial is change the characters so in the description I've posted a download link called Heroes and what it basically is, if you go into your models folder or wherever you download it to um, I've got a folder called Heroes so if I go into that I've got a couple of folders and skins so um, th these models are basically one default character a head for it, a couple of accessories of which like hat things and a cape and then some different skins for it so hopefully we can like make our own characters you can download these for free distribute it wherever just please make sure you credit me in it it's like took me quite a while as you know and um, they aren't the best models so don't think they are super as good as these but yeah so we've got basic models I will basically um, I'll show you on the actual screen so the scale factor for it is 0 0.14 which matches the identical one as Shao Kahn here so if we get it and drag it up we can see we have a model so we can make it full screen so he's got eyes, neck, blah blah the only problem I don't like about it is because I like to put out the faults is the neck looks horrific it looks like he's got a cast on and the arms are like Frankenstein but you can sort them out in the textures um, he doesn't have any shoes yet um, I need to figure out how to model shoes because it's like harder than you think but um, yeah so we've got that so the skins we have is a surgeon which is we have now so like a doctor person and a civilian which I will assign in a minute you also have the original nude one and um, that's not the nude one but I'll put the nude one in so it's like just completely the template for it basically um, I will show you how to make your own skins in a couple of tutorials, but for now it's not. The head, you don't need to worry about. That's only if you want to change this head here. We will be adding hair soon as well. And the figure is that one. And in the accessories, we'll look at later. So to start, let's get the surgeon up and running. So if we call this one surgeon, we have a surgeon, simple enough. Then if we duplicate it and put the civilian in, so we'll rename the civilian to civilian. No, that's the wrong one, that one. So we've called it civilian. Now we need to assign the civilian textures. However, if we were to grab this civilian texture here and drag it straight onto it, it would change both. Because if we click on one of them and go inside and click the body, click the skin mesh renderer, you can see they all have the same materials. So if we go back to the other one, civilian, and click the body, there, we'll see they both have the same materials which isn't good so in order to fix this what you have to do is go into your materials folder click and hold on all these and press ctrl D to duplicate them and you will get a lot but the easiest thing is to do is to just drag these into your civilian folder because then you don't get confused as much Yeah. so if we click up one of these so surgeon skin is not called surgeon skin no more it's civilian skin try and keep the underscores in because it makes it easier so I rename to civilian I again to civilian the different eyes are for both eyes in case you want like one different coloured one not if you get what I mean so surgeon wait how can you be civilian surgeon there we go and what else is this civilian 02 which is well yeah keep that I don't know why but it's some weirdly got that on. So let's start assigning it. So here we can assign that one. As you can see it doesn't change it, which is helpful. I left, click your right one, right eye. So as you can see we now have brown eyes for the civilian. And so civilian again you don't have to mess with the bottom texture. So in order to assign it you you can't just drag and drop the materials again. What you have to do is go into the skin mesh renderer and just drag everything in. Click. It will look don't worry about it not changing, it will change eventually. Boom, there you go. We have a civilian. So it, we've still got more to assign, so let's just assign them all. Left eye, which is that one. Right eye. 
civilian O2, and surgeon skin, surgeon skin, O1 skin, O1 skin. So it's quite complex, but when you do it once, you'll pretty much get it. So we now have another one, so we have two people in. Still no shoes, but yeah, it'll do. And I'll just quickly show the people who want to see the semi nude one because I know you're all begging to see it. That's what the nude one looks like at the moment. The trousers and the shoes need to be fixed, but so there it is basically. So we'll just take that back. Boom. So there we are. So we've got the skins, so that's sorted. Now let's have a look at some of the accessories. So if we click the accessories, we've got a cape, which comes in many, many different. So we need to increase the size of that again. Um, okay, I'll just increase the size of this now. What was the other one? 1.14, I think. So, yeah, so we can drag it up. We've got a weird looking cape, but um, the way you assign it is you go to your top view and you drag it to the correct position you want, which is there for me. So obviously we need it dragged down. And back a little bit. There we are. So we have a cape. So if we say you want to assign that to the civilian, I don't know why you would want to give a civilian a cape, but why not? So we click the cape and you drag it into the civilian. That simple. Now that civilian, whenever we move him, he has a cape. It is not cloth rigged, meaning it won't move with his movements. But yeah, um, you can put textures on this cloth and um, cape. But for the moment, we've only got like one. So we'll duplicate the green one and we'll call it red. Wait, do I want red one? Yes, we'll have a red one. And we'll sign the red texture to it. And in this one, we'll go to the mesh in this there and we'll assign the red cape. Click. There we go. Now he has a bright red cape. Looks a bit like Superman. So there's the cape. I hope you like that cape. If not, please post yours in the description. And um, the horned helmet is this one. I'm not super proud of this bit. Um, the texture, the actual model's okay, but the texturing is terrible. So 1.14. So click apply. It should be instant if it's anything like the other one. There we go. Um, I'm not really good at texturing, so if anyone gets any better textures and wants to share it, please feel free to. So, we'll drag this up, place it on him, and the surgeon can have the um, star band, which I'll show you in a minute. So, go into your side view, drag it, make it look like it'll fit him, that'll do. Go to the side view, so this is going to be a viking with wearing a cape, weirdly. I don't know, but that sounds cool. So, what's that like? Tiny bit forward, cover his head. Oh, now I need to come back. So, you can see it is tedious, but hey, it's free. So, now there you go, you have a cool looking Viking thing. There are no different textures for this at the moment, it's just one texture, but drag it into civilian again. There, so we now have our civilian, who looks like a superhero. So, if you didn't guess it, the theme was superheroes. So in our surgeon, we'll give him the star band. So, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Double click, never mind. So, yeah, let's go away. There we go. And star band is this. If you didn't know it, it is actually Wonder Woman's. But hey, it's a star band. I don't think YouTube's going to find that out. So please don't report me, please. It's free. So click it down, set it up. And drag it on. It does fit all the heads perfectly. There are no issues. But if you increase the size of the head, obviously you need to increase the band. See, so you can't tell. And there are no textures for this again. But again, you can texture it, which I'll show you. So where's our surgeon? There he is. Surgeon headband. Now the good thing about this is I could like duplicate this surgeon here bring him forward and across a bit but then I don't want the star headband on him so we'll delete that however what we could do is if we get the face and eyes of that one and assign it to this one we'll have a kind of different looking surgeon if you don't know what I mean I'll show you now so if we go here 
and find the material skins for civilian. We can get the civilian face, which is the skin, and assign it to there. So now we've got a blue eyed, darker surgeon. They do look the same, we could mess with the body types, but that's that's a cool thing. So you've got a lot of customization, and the more things you add, the more customization and abilities you have. But I don't want that one. So we have two characters. Now we need to populate a game with two characters. This should be fun. So let's just start. We'll just get rid of some of the extras. So the enemies. So Bane. All these. I probably shouldn't say the name in case YouTube's listening up. So Control Shift and goodbye, my friends. Sorry, anyone who thought this would be good, but hey, YouTube's want it. So, are you ready? Say goodbye. Goodbye. There we go. So, the game's moving a lot smoother now. So, in our models folder as well, we're going to delete them because we don't need them. Um, all the way down to heroes, we don't need any of these. You may get a lot of errors from this because some of the scripts rely on the characters. However, there's nothing we can do at the moment. But, well, we can. We can fix it, obviously. But We need to add more skins, which in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to do. So, again, delete all the skins. And, like that. Wait. I'm keeping the transforming ones in for now. Simply because we... Well, I haven't got any other models for that. So, hopefully we'll get some soon. Please comment in the description, in the comments actually. Do you like my models? Um, if yes, I'll continue chucking out some skins for you, like like the loading screens. If not, say, if you want to share your own skins, go ahead, po post it in the description. Give me, send me a link, and I'll post it in the description. That'll be good. We'll like team up all together. So that's all the characters gone. Um, I just need to make sure um, Vader isn't here. Nope, Vader's gone. So if we play it, well, Sha Shang Tsung's gone as well. Um, Shao Kahn. So, let's try it. So we've got no errors, can we fire? Yep. We do need to get rid of the um, Hadouken because that's copyright too. So, let's trade one of these to our main character. So I'm going to duplicate the civilian. Bring him across a minute. So, I'll give him a different cape colour. So, obviously it looks different. Where's our characters? Heroes. Um, sorry, this isn't going to be programming. Anyone who wants programming, um, t t tutorials will be coming up soon. But for now, hey, we need to get used to it. So, duplicate the red cape. And... In fact, what I might do is just keep all these textures in and just let you... So you can all do it automatically. Cause that'll be easier. Um blue cape. Give me a blue cape, yes. So here we assign the blue cape. Boom. There we go. But um it looks identical to that one at the moment, which isn't good. So in the next tutorial we'll basically edit his skin. Yeah, we'll do that. But for now we need to call him uh main char and move him across so we need to align him in line with our first one so where is he there so this one in fact we can just like use the um, details of what it's already got and paste it in ooh it doesn't like that let's move it back into there first now let's try again there we go so we just basically copy the XYZ coordinates or the vectors if you want to say it like that obviously we'll have to play with this because this is not obviously working so we've got that, oh no, wrong one yep, lose prefab, we don't need it and we'll drag this up so let's hope that works, so let's assign it there we go we will mess with the arms next time, as you can see you can't see anything because of the cape but yeah So yeah, so there we go. So that's that one. We will need to change some of the cars as well. Everything should still work perfectly. Yep, so we've got our inventory. It adds 
That's it. So does our skills go up? Well, we can't kill anyone yet, but yeah. So there we go. So that's basically it for this one. Not much. It's just modelling, really. Um, I hope you liked it. I'm sorry it's been so long to do. I really do like doing my YouTube tutorials. Every Sunday go up like YouTube tutorial. But yeah. So thanks for watching. And any problems comment below. See you next time.